Hi, it's James Sadler once again. Welcome to our, my epic story of the saga that is opening the lid to a septic tank. Actually, it's more than that. We think we've got a failing septic tank. Now, the problem is, because we're, we have a septic tank, we don't have main sewerage, it means do we have to replace the whole thing or can we repair it? Simple as that. So we've basically been told by a, a plumber, he said, in order to determine if the um, septic tank is sound, if it's reparable or has to be replaced, he has to look inside and the, the access point, the lid, well, it's been a bit of a journey. the joys of not having to use a shovel. Making progress. Um, there's a hole. There's Nathan in the background doing what plumbers do, which is having a look and see that how there's the lid there. So that's it exposed. So we're just going to find the appropriate um, points uh, to which we can attach the chain, and then we can look inside. Then we can find out: is this failing? Is it failed? Is it rescuable? Is it whatever.
Well, in the end, we didn't need the chains and the excavator to raise the lids. It's it's actually a one-person job. Nathan did it with just a shovel and some brute strength. Um, but the key thing is, is that this is what we need going forward. We need access, well, the septic engineer needs access to each of those two chambers in order to pump out the effluent every four, five, six years, whatever it is. So we have to design an access point that is reusable going forward. Well, that's the diagnosis. The diagnosis is um, it's not failing. It just needs a new soakage tunnel. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, Nate's actually going over there, you can see him. He's, um, we're going to reuse that, what I call a collar and lid, but apparently it's got a proper name. It's called a riser and a lid. And we're going to just put it over, strategically over two of the lids, because we need to get into two of the baffles. You saw the two chambers um, previously. And, um, and we're going to have to, um, have to, we, I say we, I say me and maybe some relatives, are going to then cut part of that one of those concrete lids so we so we can open it up and get access into uh, two chambers for the next time it needs to be pumped it probably needs to be pumped in about a year maybe two years time some of these last anything up to seven years uh, we last time this was pumped was three years ago we could expect to get it need the pumping in a year's time so we're going to put some stuff back on, leave the dirt for the moment, it's winter, so we're not, oh, I'm not overly concerned. And, uh, and then we're going to go down the soakage path. So Nathan's going to do the soakage tunnel path. So Nathan's going to do that, but we need an engineer to do the plans for it to get approval. And uh, thankfully, my brother is a town planner, so hopefully that will uh, all as well.